What's up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrostasis here, and we are... Well, hopefully that's not too loud on you guys. We've got a nice little breeze here in Texas today. And I'm out on my uh, my back porch. Well, actually the driveway, I guess. Just hanging out. Uh, I shot this video originally uh, the day... Sunday, the day after I got the car. Or the truck, I guess I should say. But uh, I screwed up and had it uh, up straight in the air as opposed to sideways. And uh, there's just no way to fix that. I mean, when you fuck up... When you fuck it up that bad, you're, you might as well just call it a day. So we are uh, we're gonna redo the video and tell you guys the story of what happened on Saturday, why I wasn't able to uh, to do the live stream, and we'll kind of go from there. So uh, for those of you guys who don't know, last week uh, I apologize for the airplane. They, uh, it's alright, plane. Take your time, buddy. Take your time. I'm not shooting a video here or anything. Anyways, um, for those of you guys who don't know, last week I went to the gun range and my car died on me. Uh, we've had some electrical problems with the Mustang. Uh, it's a good car. It's only got 82,000 miles on it, which for a 1998 Mustang 5-speed 4.6 liter GT is good. That means I've driven like less than 8,000 miles a year, which is pretty crazy. Most people drive a lot more than that. So anyways, um, you know, we've already repaired it once, this well twice this year. This would be the third time we're starting to get to the point where just throwing a lot of money into it and you know it's a nice car you know it's a truck or a car that I like but you know the paints messed up and you know it's just old so you know I figured you know maybe it's time to get a new truck or a new car something along those lines I've uh, always had a big thing for the the Dodge Ram 1500s uh, there was a couple of the used cars in the area that I figured we'd take a look at and you know see what we could do so uh, we started the day off uh, about noon well I was up at 10 but you know since uh, I didn't have a reliable vehicle, I had to kind of count on the parents and my brother, and so they were wanting to do some plans, so we didn't get started till uh, till noon. So we uh, we go to the Ford place, and the Ford place we were looking at a, a Dodge Ram 1700 or 1500. It was uh, 17,800 something around that. So the reason we did that truck is because it's cheap. You know, 17,000 for a truck is pretty pretty cheap. It's pretty good uh, price wise. Uh, and I'm not. You know, some of you guys think I'm kind of a rich man. I'm not a rich dude. No, no. So, uh, figured we check that out. Hopefully, we get a, a good, you know, monthly payment somewhere between two hundred and fifty and three hundred, preferably closer to two hundred and fifty. And I figured on a seventeen thousand dollar truck, you know, with uh, about three thousand, four thousand down, uh, including the trade in, of course, that uh, we we could get that. So, Mustang Blue Book value and the condition it's in and the age is about twenty two hundred, according to the internet. That's a sweet spot. Anything lower than that, I'm kind of getting screwed. Anything higher than that, you know, I'm screwing them. So. Uh, Ford was gonna offer me 1500 I think for the Mustang which I figured you know it's not bad you know that's that's probably about as good as I could expect with you know the condition that she's in so uh, we were gonna do that um, so we went and test drove the 1500 I liked it uh, that one was a red one but uh, the front right shock on it kind of squeaked a little bit and I didn't really like that but you know beggars can't really be choosers <laughs> so we were talking about it, and he's like you know man I can't really get you any good rebates because this is used, you know, it's not going to have a good warranty on it, you know, blah, blah, blah. He's like, why don't we try and get you into a new one? You know, we we'll get you into a single cab. And I'm like, dude, I was like, number one, you know, you guys, last time I was here, you told me you didn't lease those. I was like, and that's the only way I'd get into it is with lease. I was like, number two, that's a $32,000 truck, man. Uh, you know, there's no way you're going to be able to get that 250, 300 with only four grand down. I mean, it's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I was like, not only that, but you know, it's a V6, and, you know, call me an elitist prick or whatever you want to call it, but a V6 just, I don't know, it's a V6, just. All right, well, I was ranting and raving about how much I despise V6 in a truck or in a sports car, and uh, one of the dealers from uh, the weekend decided to call me, so. Anyways, uh, you know, I just wasn't excited about spending that kind of money on a V6. And honestly, I don't like the look of F-150s. I mean, they're a good truck. Uh, if, if anything, they're probably a more reliable truck and a better, probably one of the better trucks on the market. It just, I don't like the EcoBoost engine. I don't like V6s. And uh, I just don't like the body style of the truck, honestly. So, you know, I wasn't really feeling it. Uh, you know, it took him, good God, it took him like two hours. He comes back with 480 a month. I'm like, dude, I told you before this, 250 to, to, to 300 was my max, you know? He's like, what if you put five grand down? I'm like, Dude, if I had five grand down, do you think I would have been looking at a, you know, Dodge 1500, you know, to begin with? So, um, you know, we just kind of got a bad feeling with the Ford place, and we was like, you know, we just we just need to get out of here. So JJ and my parents, they left. They were out front. 
And I was like, you know, just just give me my keys, man, because they they had been looking at the Mustang to to do the trade. And I was like, just give me my keys, and I'll we'll come back if you know we can't find a better deal. He's like, all right, man, all right. So he walks off, and like a couple minutes later, he comes back with his manager, and he tries to pitch me again. I'm like, dude, I just want my keys. I just want to get out of here. You know, uh, you guys just you know you're not you're not getting close enough. You know, and uh, the the hostile pressure and the hostile sales tactics were starting to come in. They were just kind of. They were being the nicest assholes that you could possibly be, but they were still being assholes, and I just wasn't I was getting annoyed. So, you know, I just walked outside, and I was like, you know, my dad, my brother's like, well, what, what the hell's going on? I'm like, well, they won't give you my fucking keys. He's like, they won't give you your fucking keys. I will get your fucking keys. You want me to get your keys? I'm like, hey, man, if you can do it. So he walks in, like, two minutes later, he comes out. I'm like, how did you do that? He's like, I just told him to give me my fucking keys right the fuck now. He's like, uh, he starts swearing at people. They start to get it figured out. I'm like, yeah, all right, well, you know, I'm just too much of a nice guy, I guess. So for now we go over to the Mitsubishi dealer, and uh, the Mitsubishi dealer is where JJ bought his uh, vehicle. Now his vehicle, it's nice, um, it's really nice. It's just I don't like, I don't like this weird like SUV mini car hybrid thing. They just look hideous. I don't like them. Uh, they don't have any power, uh, and I, I know that's again childish of me or whatever you want to call it. But I like power. You know, I like I like I like hearing that roar, kind of like that airplane that's driving by. Sorry. Um, so I, I like hearing, I like hearing the power, I like, or like feeling the power, I like hearing the power, you know, and, um, I don't know. So we got to the Mitsubishi dealer, they were just, they were almost two hands off, it was like they didn't even care we were there. Now keep in mind, this place mainly sells like fifty to $90,000 vehicles, and the vehicle we were looking at was a 2008, uh, GT Deluxe Mustang, uh, five speed, I think it was a 5.0 liter? Maybe in a 4.6 or 4.7. I'm not sure. It was it was nice. It it looked really good on the outside. It had 40,000 miles on it. It's old, but it was in like mint condition. You could tell it had been really well taken care of, and uh, it just looked nice. Um, problem was, it wasn't in the town um, that we live in. It was about an hour about an hour away at a place called Hearst. So he's gonna have to go get it. So I was like, you know, run the credit, see what we got. You know, let me know what we can get into. And he's like, well, what are you looking at? I'm like, well, you know, 250. Uh, you know, 300 is what I'd like. Uh, I was like, you know, I can go up to 2,000 down payment, but that's that's about as much as I'd like to do. And uh, he's like, all right, man, we'll, we'll see what we can do. And so we like wait around for like 45 minutes. I'm like, dude, what's the what's the deal? He's like, oh, well, our finance guy's really busy right now, so it might be another hour or so. I'm like, God dang! All right, I was like, well, you know what? Fuck it, we're we're gonna go eat dinner. We're gonna go watch a movie. We'll come back. And he's like, all right, cool. So we go uh, we go watch Hunger Games, which awful, awful. I mean, the books are good. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not slamming on the Hunger Games. I just I don't, I don't like the way they did this, the TV series or the, the movie. So anyways, I'm not going to rant about the Hunger Games here. So uh, we go over there, he calls me, and he tells me it's going to be 340 a month. And I'm like, God, for, you know, a 2008, 17,000, that just, that's just, that just doesn't seem right. You know what I mean? It's just, that's just way too much. It's, it's not going to be, uh, I feel like I'm getting screwed. So we decided to try and go back to the Ford dealer and see if we get that 2012 uh, 1500. So we get over there, and the guy's like running the paperwork. He's like, "Man, you won't believe this. While you were gone, somebody bought that shit out from under you, man." I'm like, "God dang it!" Jj's like, "Dude, it's a sign. It's a sign. We need to get the fuck out of here. We need to go somewhere else." I'm like, "All right." He's like, "You know, you need to understand, because I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, weak when it comes to buying things, because I like spending money, and it's horrible because I don't have a whole lot of money to spend. But, you know, I just wanted a vehicle. I wanted to get it over with. We'd already called off the stream. You know, taking a whole day off for me is hard." And, you know, I was just, we spent all day on it. I was like, God dang it, you know? And so we were looking at some of their other vehicles, and there just wasn't, there wasn't a vehicle there that I liked. So we were leaving, we were going to go home, and just like, you know, you like the 1500? Why don't we go to the actual Dodge place and see if they have one? I was like, dude, I don't think they're going to have one. I looked at them, I didn't see one in our price range. He's like, let's just go look. So we go look, it's like 8 o'clock at night. We get there, and this old dude, you know, he didn't look like he was too happy to be there. And, uh, you know, he uh, he showed us around. We saw two trucks that we were looking at. One was a 2014. It had 50,000 miles on it. It was 24,000. Uh, it had a Hemi in it, but oddly enough, it only had a single exhaust. And for those of you guys who don't know, single exhaust, the exhaust is kind of what makes your car sound good. I mean, yeah, you can have a shitty engine and have good exhaust and kind of sound good, and you can have a good engine and a shitty exhaust and not sound good, but it's it's a combo of the two. A 5.7 liter Hemi sounds badass with good exhaust. This thing had a little single spit out the side tailpipe and 
the 5.7 liter Hemi, you just, you couldn't even hear it. It was like, ugh. And it was 24,000, which isn't bad. I mean, it had 40,000 miles on it, but uh, I didn't like, there was a, an issue with the bed liner that it had, and I don't know, I just didn't like the feel of it. I didn't like the feel of it. It was a different body style, too, so I, I didn't like that. So we went and looked at the 2012, and it had 75,000 miles on it, which is a lot. But apparently trucks these days supposedly go for like 150,000 miles on them before they blow up. I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, I don't have any car credit. Uh, I have good credit credit, but apparently car credit and credit credit and mortgage credit are all different. I don't know, man. So apparently it's an 800 credit score don't mean shit when it comes to a car, apparently. So um, we look at the truck, and I liked the front end. I liked the way it looked. I liked the sound. Um, it was beautiful except for the tail bed. The tail bed on the inside, I guess they had a liner or something with it, and the liner kind of messed things up. Uh, so I didn't really like the liner. So... Uh, but that's that's a that's a $300 fix. You know, that's pretty easy. That's pretty easy. So I was like, all right, you know, let's let's go run the numbers. And so he sat down. He sits down with us, and he was like, all right, man, you know, that 260 is probably the best I can do. And I was just like, man, I will marry you right now. So um, he's like, you know, it's late. You haven't had a chance to drive the car. Uh, the bank's closed. He's like, why don't you take the car for the weekend, um, or the truck for the weekend, drive it, see what you think. You know, make sure it's something you want. You know, and it was it was the only guy that day. It was perfectly fine with me leaving the place as long as I was happy as opposed to I had to buy it right now right now right now we will make you buy it right now so it kind of made me feel good about it so uh, we drove it home and it's it's fucking amazing this this truck is, is badass so we're enough of me talking we're gonna flip it over to the other side I'm gonna show you guys what the truck looks like um, I'm gonna turn it on so you guys can hear the beast mode uh, I won't be able to rev the engine because you know I can't rev it while holding the camera back here uh, but we'll we'll show you guys what it looks like. So give me just a sec, flip it over, and we'll pick up there. Uh, this is the front end. You guys can see down there, all the way up. This is the front end of the Dodge 1500s that I really like. I love that hood. I love that grill. It just looks fucking mean as hell. Uh, there's a couple of models that have an even slightly higher cal inducted hood, but I just I love this this hood setup here. Let's come around here on the side. Let me get some distance here so you guys can see. There she is. So you can see she's in pretty good shape. I mean, she looks good. She's nice, clean, paint job's good. Those wheels, dude, I'm telling you what, dude, those things are fucking huge, huge. So let's let's take a look at the back end of this sexy beast. Now hopefully the glare from the sun doesn't mess this up too much. I'll try not to go too far out. There you go, you can see the twin exhaust. Now this is the only problem with the car I have, right here. Look at this tail bed. I mean, it's not bad. He's just a little dinged up, you know, you can see there's some scuff marks, you know. So, I'm gonna get a spray-in uh, bed liner, if I can afford it. The spray-ins are apparently a little bit more expensive, but they're a little bit higher quality. And uh, that's, that's what, I, I, what, at least what I've read online, is, is what we want. Uh, here's the keys. This is the key. That little panic button, that's what you put into the car. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. So... You can see we got the, uh, the little step ups down there. It's kind of cool. Got the little uh, hand grabby thing so you can get in. Here's what the dash looks like. Got the little flip there so you can take it up and down the uh, steering wheel. Um, seats, good condition. Upholstery's good. That's nice. You can actually get three people in here if you want. Now, this is one of the problems with the 2012. This is the basic package, so it doesn't have like. Um, it doesn't have a Bluetooth, it doesn't have navigation, it doesn't have any of that stuff. In all honesty, I don't drive that much. I don't think I'm ever going to use it. You know, I never used it on JJ's car. It's, it's just not something I want. Uh, down here we got the cup holders. These are spots for your phone that uh, will slide up in there so you can get rid of it. And you can pull it back down if you want. This is one of the things I really like. You can get that down right there. You have a nice little armrest if you don't need that third seat, which most people don't. You can pop it up right here. Inside there you can, you know, put a gun, you can put, you know, stuff, wallet, keys, whatever. And then you can flip it back up when you're done with it. Oh, come on. And, you know, I'll see it's a little tight back here. You know, I wouldn't want to sit back here, but I'm a big guy. But, you know, not too bad, not too bad. It's, it's decently roomy. I mean, somebody could fit back there, probably sit in the middle, and you'd be fine, because there's plenty of room there. Right here, it's gonna be a little tight, but then I'm a big guy, so, you know, that's that's a little far back. That's a little far back there. 
But as you can see, it's, it's in good condition. It's in good condition. All right. So here comes the test, my friends. Now, I want to show you guys this. Look at this. Look at this. All right, so here's the keyhole, right? So, right here. Put that in. Did you hear that? Listen to that. Listen to that. Doesn't that just sound amazing? Doesn't that just sound sick? Oh. And uh, this thing has every... Uh-oh. No, 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 no. No music. This thing has every bit as much get up and go as my Mustang does, if not more. Um, this Hemi, I believe, has 400 horsepower on her. So that'll move. That'll move. So anyways, that is the new truck. Figured I'd show you guys that. I uh, apologize it's taking me this long to get it up. Uh, I had to reshoot the video, otherwise it would have been up this morning. This is my favorite end of her, right there. I love that front end. Love that front end. So anyways, guys, hopefully we don't get flagged for that. <laughs> that little radio oops there. Um, but yeah, gonna get the paperwork finished on her today, and then everything should be back to normal. So anyways, guys, hope you liked this little video of my new truck. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, if you like this video, slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe. and catch you guys in the next clip.